how to trade the alien wave failure like a pro part four how to trade the alien wave failure like a pro part four this is the final part of this series of video part four talking about uh, part one part two part three part four talking about uh, okay how to trade the alien wave failure like a pro all right in this last part we will be talking about uh, okay okay trading uh, the alien wave failure like a pro using a top-down uh, trading method a top-down trading method is a multiple time frame trading method when one will uh, identify the setup on a specific uh, higher time frame one will identify the signal on another specific uh, uh, time frame that is uh, lower than the, the the setup time frame and one will select okay a, a low risk entry point to enter the trail all right so you have seen for instance an earlier wave failure it may be repeat very important i need to clarify this with traders you may see either a double top all right which means the fifth wave come to the point where there's equality between the high of the third wave and the high of the fifth wave so an earlier wave failure that is uh, a double top okay that can happen okay remember also that an earlier wave failure can also be a double top with uh, the second top being lower than the first top something like this all right so this is the end of the fifth wave we have failed to even reach the high of the third wave so we have a double top but the second top is lower the opposite is also true in a downtrend when we have a double bottom chart pattern all right pay attention carefully because I assume that you have watched part one to part four and you understand what is taking place here if you have not yet watched part one to part three do so before watching this last part so now we, this is the fifth wave here okay has touched the low of the third wave forming a double bottom pattern remember that sometimes it may be okay forming a higher low so we have a double bottom pattern with a higher low all right so this is the fifth wave and in here failing to exceed the low of the third bearish wave all right it makes sense so now how do we trade it so you do your verification i have said in part three the internal waves of the fifth wave itself all right the common section is broken now you want to trade it using a top-down trading method okay suppose my friend you see this setup you will do your verification on the monthly chart you see okay this is an earlier wave failure you have counted first wave second wave third wave first wave second wave third wave fourth wave and the fifth wave all your verification has done you know that this is not a flat correction okay you you know that this is not uh, an uh, okay the fourth wave being prolonged being a complex fourth wave okay you do all your verification now you want to trade it using a top-down trading method all right for the monthly chart this is your setup all right you may break it down straight away to the daily chart waiting for a signal a bearish signal typical bearish signal price out of a okay a rising channel breaking out and retesting the edge of uh, the rising channel that will be a simple bearish signal or price forming coming out of the channel forming okay a lower high on a daily chart on the edge in a resistance zone that can be a signal do not buy or sell straight away because of the signal now you will use another time frame for your entry point one can use hourly chart 30 minute chart but as i said to you for the entry trader can use many time frames so i may go to the hourly chart and then i may zoom into it to the 10 minute chart even i may zoom into it to the 3 minute chart my friend this is about a top-down trading method it makes sense it is also powerful the next thing talking about double top my friend you see it now it form a double top you see this is an earlier wave failure okay price from a resistance here common central is kaput you do your verification price start going down remember remember this the bearish momentum will only become strong if the knot is broken in this case the knot is the low of the fourth wave 
So as you saw it here at the end of the fifth wave, any price going down, remember the NAT, which is the low of the fourth wave. The disclaimer, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to move on very swiftly. The same is also true in a downtrend. You see a double bottom pattern. And my friend, you bought it right here. You are very excited. You want to kiss me, which is normal, okay? All right. Now, price going up. Okay, the excitement is getting very strong, but remember that that bullish momentum will become strong only if the price breaks the nut. This is the nut, which is the high of the fourth wave in a downtrend. You see here, this is a, uh, that's it. This is the high of the fourth wave in a downtrend, the rally. This is the fourth wave, this is the fifth wave. So as you bought it here, because the price form a double bottom pattern, you have checked the internal wave of the fifth wave. You, you are sure that it's not a flat correction. You are sure that, uh, okay, a complex uh, fourth wave is not taking place. And now you are applying a top-down trading method. As the price going up, do not forget the nut because it will become very bullish only if the price breaks the nut. The reason why it's so important, so you buy it here. Suppose you were wrong. Suppose a complex fourth wave is taking place, that the fourth wave is going to be a kind of consolidation, blah, 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 before, okay, the normal, okay, fifth wave, all right? If you're applying that method, you, you won't get into trouble because as a prior going up to this point, you are securing your gain, you are protecting your gain, and a prior may change direction here, boom, forming a consolidation. Now you are really realizing that this is a, a complex fourth wave. So remember the knot, and remember this night too. It makes sense? It is also uh, powerful, all right? So the verification that we are doing, we are checking the internal wave of the fifth wave. We want at least the common center to be broken. Do not forget the nut and apply a top-down trading method. The next thing, talking about how to trade the area wave failure like a pro, we want to check, okay, the higher time frame. So a pattern is completed on your setter time frame. You call it an area wave failure. Do not stop on that time frame alone. You see on the hourly chart, you see on the 15 minute chart, you see this is it, don't stop there. One must now validate the earlier wave failure by going to a higher time frame. So if you see on the 15 minute chart, be a little bit curious, go to the hourly chart and see whether everything lines up nicely. If you see on the hourly chart, okay, the all right, push it to the daily chart and check whether everything aligned clearly. The reason is this will allow you to filter out false alien weight failures. A common trading mistake is to stack on one time frame, making decision without paying attention to the higher time frame. So one one identify an alien weight failure. The alien weight theory is not a science, it's a guide that we use, okay, to navigate through this messy market. So now you have learned what is an area wave failure. Do not use it as a size. Be flexible. You see, you see, okay, it looks like an area wave failure. Okay, don't be, don't, don't think you are the smartest trader. Pull back a bit. Verify everything clearly. Now go to the higher time frame. Wait for the market to open and then apply your top down trading method. The top down trading method will allow you to avoid common trading mistake. This is the end of this series of video about uh, okay how to trade uh, the alien wave failure like a pro part one to part four. We were discussing exactly what is an alien wave failure, where and when does it occur, what is the synonym of an alien wave failure. In part two, we were asking the question why does an alien wave failure Okay, why? Why? And we have highlighted the factors that can create an area wave failure. In the third video, we were talking about how to avoid trading mistakes when one is trading the area wave failures. In this fourth part, which is the last part, we push it a little bit to the highest level, talking about trading like a pro, using a top-down trading method without ignoring the higher time frames, all right, the fundamentals and economy news, draw, making sure that the common sector line is broken, checking the internal waves, okay, and also how one can trade a double top and double bottom pattern, paying attention to the nuts. If you like this video, Okay, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, 
my friend, please feel free to give us the thumbs down. Okay, if you are in love, if you love this video, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you are in love with us, okay, now feel free to subscribe to Two Four in Your Way uh, channel. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about uh, how to trade the area way failure like a pro part one to part four. Thank you for watching and we will speak to you very soon.